How's it going, pilots? This is Pete with BananaHobby.com. We're here at my local field today, giving you all out there a very special review of something really fun and uh, something we kind of uh, scaled down a little bit for y'all out there that were asking for a smaller P51 Mustang. Today we have the FMS Blitz 1400 millimeter P51 Mustang review for y'all. And uh, a couple of the key things with this beautiful P51 is the fact that we are able to scale down the uh, the things that went into the 1700 millimeter P51 into a smaller 1400 P51, 1400 millimeter P51 for you. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little walk here with the P51 and we'll talk about this as we go here. So a couple of the key things with this P51 now that we've uh, taken from the very, very popular 1700 millimeter size and I uh, got a lot of feedback from y'all out there saying that, you know, the 1700 millimeters are kind of big, kind of large to transport and things like that. So we are able to, to bring down the size into a 1400 millimeter P51 and keep uh, the very scale um, flaps in there. But this is now the version seven. And with the advent of the version seven, we've incorporated sequencing gear doors and uh, there's a sliding cockpit, a sliding opening canopy on the top where you can uh, taxi out with a cockpit open the canopy open and then you can actually just go ahead and uh, shut the canopy for uh, scale realism there. Fully functional scale flaps and the uh, struts now for the serverless servo less retracts are actually spring loaded so there is suspension there as well and uh, the scale appearance of that is beautiful. Once again this is still EPO foam. There are two spars in there. There is a main dihedral wing spar and then there is a carbon spar as well for the main wings and then the cool part about this whole aircraft is that uh, tail section all screwed on there, main wing all screwed on there, propellers are individually blade so if you nick one or something like that you can just go ahead and uh, replace one and we will have this on the website in I think three different color variations as well and uh, full running LED lights there on the wingtips for navigational lights as well. Alright so now let's go ahead and give her a surface check here and we'll head for the runway. Sweet. We've got the P51 lined up with the runway here. And uh, we are doing a control surface check and we are clear for takeoff here. And once again, you know, for y'all out there that don't want to use the drop tanks, the drop tanks are actually removable. They just slide right off. Let's go ahead and start the timer here. Taking off. So we can give you a nice scale flight of the beautiful P51 here. Let's roll out. Throttle up, give a little up elevator, and she is off the ground. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring her back in over the runway, and we're gonna go ahead and retract the gears here. Okay, main gear is up, tail wheel is in, and the sequencing doors are closed. There we go. There's something very, very special about a P51 Mustang that I just absolutely love. They track so straight, and they, they fly just absolutely amazing. There you go, a little turn there, wind. This uh, P51 here by FMS Blitz is absolutely rock solid. You've gotta love this, this color scheme as well. It, really shows up nice in the air here. Super, super stable. Looks like we have another warbird up there trying to tackle us here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do a little mingling here. Where's he at? <laughs> I don't even know who that is, but we're just kind of... <laughs> Doing a little bit of a warbird flight for you here. You know, the things that I talk about often when I fly warbirds and actually, you know, flying RC all together is that. You know, you're not just flying, a lot of people see this as, you know, toys for big boys. 
I don't see it like that. I see this as flying aviation. There, it doesn't matter if this is small scale or you know it's not a real scale or it's not a gas airplane. This has all the same attributes to what we know as flight. And um, you know when you pilot a, a P-51 Mustang, this is a piece of history, and I've said that time and time again. You know, this is something very, very special here. A lot of us won't be able to fly one of these in real person, you know, like a real scale or full scale one, but we can always pilot our own in these uh, smaller scale ones and just have an absolutely fun time with it. Nice low flyby there. Man, this performance is great. I'll give you a little four point roll. You know, if you wanted to do aerobatics with it, she'll do aerobatics just fine. But we're just doing a scale flight. You know, I'll give you a inverted flyby here. Pump, push her inverted here and give you an inverted flyby. Still see that it's really rock solid there. To a vertical upline inverted, roller half. To a stall turn here. Okay, I'm going to show you how stable and how slow she can fly here. We're going to go full flaps here and just do a really slow crawling flyby here over the runway in this awesome crosswind. <laughs> Look how slow that is. Woohoo! Too cool. Flaps up, throttle up. Three quarter roll. And fly out of there. All right, we will now just go ahead and set up for the landing. And uh, we're going to do a overhead flyby over the runway for a landing gear check here. Check out the sequencing doors will come down first. Okay, we have doors down. Gears down, all three down in lock position. We will now set up for our landing. We give it first stage flaps here. Let's see how smooth we can grease her in here. Awfully bumpy wind here. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring her down here for a nice clean touchdown. Wow, that is beautiful there. Uh, she lines up perfectly with the runway. All you're gonna do is pretty much just feather your throttle a little bit and just guide her in. She came in by herself and basically landed on her own there. Now that was a fun Warbird flight review with this beautiful FMS Blitz RC Works P51 Mustang. She tracks beautiful through the air here and she just looks amazing. Just absolutely scale here. I just want to really quickly show you the retracts because I just find the retracts to be very, very impressive. I'm going to go and put that down on my sandal here. And again, this is the 1700 millimeter size down into a, a uh, 1400 millimeter size with the sequencing gear doors and everything here. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. There's closing gear doors back here too. And uh, again, the drop tank slide right off and you're set to go. She flies on your 4S. Four, four cell packs, and uh, the choice of packs that we're using today are the 65C Genesis Power uh, Pete Signature Series in uh, four cell and 2800 milliamps. There's enough room down there for about up to a 3300 to maybe about a 3700, and uh, it seems not to affect the CG too much, so that actually works as well. Again, beautiful P51, and it was a nice, fun Warbird flight here for you, and I hope you've enjoyed these flight reviews. Check us out on Twitter, and uh, like us on Facebook and check out the new bananahobby.com for all the coolest and newest and hottest in RC as well. Let's go ahead and take this home and have her look pretty. This is Pete checking out. See you next time. <laughs>